How is the cake? Doesn't it look so beautiful with the pattern on top? This is the marble cake or zebra cake. So today I'm going to show you how to bake this zebra or marble cake. So let's get started. So for that, in this bowl I'm going to break two eggs. So here I put one egg. Then the second egg, like this, and into this I'm going to add around 4 tablespoons of sugar. So here I add the sugar. And 4 tablespoons. To this I'm going to add... 140 ml of refined oil. So here I add the oil. And I'm going to mix this thoroughly with the help of a beater and beater. Into this now I'm going to add 200 ml of fresh milk. So now I'm going to give a mix again. One teaspoon of vanilla essence. Now the dry ingredients. I'm going to add around 250 gram of flour and it is always advisable to sieve the dry ingredients so that they are well combined now one teaspoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of baking soda. So this I'm going to sieve. So in this way I'm going to sift all the dry ingredients and mix thoroughly with the wet ingredients. To this I'm going to add around one teaspoon of lemon juice And I'm going to mix this again. Uh, I'm going to add around one third teaspoon of salt also. And this I'm going to combine thoroughly. I'm done with the mixing of the batter. Now I'm going to divide this into two separate bowls. And one batter I'm going to mix cocoa powder. That I'll show you how. So here I pour into the two bowls with the help of a ladle like this equal amount so in this way I'm going to divide into two equal portions you can see that I have divided the batter into two equal portions now in one of the bowl I'm going to add around two tablespoon of cocoa powder here like this and I'm going to mix this so here it's done now I'm going to mix this if the batter is uh, thick we can add around three tablespoons of fresh milk here. Let me tell you one thing. While making this zebra or marble cake, we have to be very careful with the batter. It should not be too thick nor too runny. It should be medium. Otherwise, while 
mixing the two different colors, if it is too watery, then it will get combined with one another and the pattern will not come out clearly after the baking. So here I take a baking mold. Into this I'm going to grease with some butter on all the sides and later on I'm going to dust it with some flour. I'll show you how. So first let me grease the baking mold with some butter. In this way I have greased butter on all the sides. Now I'm going to sprinkle some flour like this and spread it all over the sides. You can see that I have dusted the flour on all the sides, isn't it? So now I'm going to pour the batter here and I'll show you how to do. So here are the two types of batter. One is with cocoa powder and the other is without cocoa powder. Now let's start pouring in the baking mold batch by batch. So how to pour, I'll tell you. I've taken two same size ladle, so with this I'm going to pour the batter into the baking mold. So first I'm going to pour the vanilla batter. Like this. Now, next will be the cocoa batter. Slowly in the center. While making a zebra cake, we have to be very careful with the batter. It should not be runny nor too thick. We have to be very careful. Next will be the white batter. So like this, slowly I'm going to pour in the center. Then the cocoa batter again, like this. So in this way I'm going to pour the batter batch by batch. So in this way I have poured the batter in batches. You can see how I have poured. Now I'm going to draw a pattern it's on top of the batter with the help of a toothpick. So like this like this then opposite side again then I go back again like this like this like this It's done. Now I'm going to bake this at 150 degrees centigrade for around 40 to 45 minutes or until uh, a toothpick comes out clean once inserted. I've already preheated the oven for 10 minutes from before. So this I'm going to pop it inside the oven now. You can see that I have some 
batter in a different mold and show you how to bake without an oven. So I have drawn the pattern with the help of a toothpick. I have already shown you before, isn't it? So now let's go and see what I'm going to do. So here is the pan. I have already preheated for around 10 minutes by covering it like this. Just now only I removed the lid. I have spread some salt into the pan so that the pan will not get spoiled while we are baking. So now I'm going to put one stand here. I'll show you. If you have a stand like this, you can put on top of this and then place the mold here carefully, otherwise you will burn your fingers. So carefully I have placed this and I'm going to keep the flame in simmer and then I'm going to cover this with a lid and bake for around 40 to 45 minutes or till they are nicely baked from inside. Uh, how can we check that? By inserting a toothpick. If it comes out clean, then it is nicely baked from inside. So now let's wait for 40 to 45 minutes. Wow, look at this. Even the cake that I have baked on the gas stove, it has been baked nicely. Let me check by inserting one toothpick. Look at this. It has come out clean, isn't it? That means the cake has been nicely baked from inside. So I'm going to switch off the gas, let it cool down. After that, I'll show you the texture. Wow, look at this. Just now I took out from the oven. So let's check by inserting one toothpick in the center like this. You can see that it has come out clean, isn't it? Let's insert here also. See, it has come out clean, isn't it? So now let's wait for the cake to cool down. And after that, I'll show you how our cake has turned out to be. This is the cake which I baked on the gas stove without oven, isn't it? So now let me cut and see how is the cake. Wow, look at this, so spongy, see. So today I have shown you how to bake with oven and without oven also. So here is the cake, it has completely cooled down. So now I'll cut and show you the texture of the cake. Look at this, so spongy, isn't it? <coughs> Just cut a slice and show you. Yes, look at this. Look at the sponginess of the cake. So moist and so spongy. I'm sure you'll try to make this cake. If you like watching my video, please give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe, and please do comment also. Thank you so much for watching.